Welcome to the WrestleCast Power Hour. I am one fourth of your world podcast tag team champions, B hyphen, aka King Dusty. And to my left of my screen and number one in your hearts, it is always my duty to pass the rock to my friend, not your friend, maybe your friend, I don't know. Handsome Bane, how are you tonight, sir? What up, though? What up, Say, though? I, 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 I missed y'all boys, dog. No. Um, <laughs> man, I have been just kind of scratching and clawing to get to Friday. Trying to and, get back uh, to us, man. Recording, get back here, bro. Like, um, man, listen to the show while I was out and just was like, dog, I wish I was there. Um, you know, shit. So now I'm back. Uh, and... Y'all know who I brought with me, dog. Who'd you bring with you? You know who I brought with me. Mm-hmm. I ain't even gonna tell y'all because he gonna tell y'all. Oh, okay. It's my dog. Wolf. <laughs> Yo, it's your motherfucking boy, <laughs> the Mark Rob, aka Sean Mad Love, aka Gordon Darks, aka Himbo Slice, <laughs> aka Flavor Ramon, aka Big Sexy Kevin Splash, aka Bollywood Bulk Bogan, aka Dimas Dallas. Beige because content is forever, baby. AKA King Chitlin, AKA Mississippi the Flapjack Kid, AKA Baquan the Chef because do you smell what the market's cooking? AKA Southeast Side Gun. I skipped the Grammy 36 years straight to watch wrestling, AKA Big Thick Dutley, AKA hmm. Mark the Mark, AKA Larry July. Don't check me, check your motherfucking lips, get you some elevated chapstick don't get that bullshit cheap ass giant <laughs> Safeway brand cbs brand get you some burp bees go into Ulta. go into sephora tell them you want some lip moisturizer tell them you want a lip serum oh don't God. get no two for five dollar bullshit go ahead and get your lips soft motherfuckers what is going on oh <laughs> uh, i don't think i've ever not laughed at Mark Rob AKAs. Oh. And you're hearing him. All right. He's here. It's not a fluke, guys. It's <laughs> novelist. One more again. Back with us. What Yo, up, dog? Big Nov. What's going on? Always an honor to be a part of the team on my favorite wrestling podcast. So yeah, man. What's going on? Yeah, man. What's going on? You guys are great. Yeah, <laughs> Iowa. <laughs> yeah. dog that's like the whitest place to try to get hype for like <laughs> come yes. on guys corn yes Woo! seth finds the a way to do gone. it man seth finds a way to do it uh, oh, man. Oh, man. I, I, I make fun of seth a lot but he is actually very good i actually like him a lot man. i, I Every- came to a conclusion about seth not long ago uh, and I'll go ahead and say it. So, uh, but my conclusion. No, we're waiting for it. Uh, sorry, so I, I was interrupting, so I didn't know if I could continue. <laughs> so, I realized that it took me a while to admit it, but Seth, Seth Rollins had actually filled the CM Punk uh, sized hole in my heart after 2014. Mm-hmm. He really did. He he, yeah, he really man, was Seth just is... that consistent figure who, while I didn't yeah. stand him like Seth, like I did CM mm-hmm. Punk, I just could always find something in Seth. I was like. Did not matter. I was. Just, I, yeah. I just always and enjoy him, man. Seth can wrestle, and he's always. He kind of does it like. I feel like he does it subconsciously. Like sometimes I don't think he's doing it on purpose, but he constantly reinvents himself. Like without mm-hmm. without it even being like a a gimmick, a big a it, big it's, gimmick. It's, yeah. it's pretty seamless. Yeah, like half he's the time just, it's just like, oh, he's just a Monday Night Messiah. He just, oh, he's just, he's just like acting different. <laughs> it's here's what's funny, and and I think like I. I I like what Seth Rollins teaches me about my fandom. I am not into Seth Rollins. Right. However, mm-hmm. I like what he's doing, and I like that everybody else seems to be having a really good time with it. I think that's dope, um, even though I can't use anything there. I mean, the guy, he, he wrestles, is I, I can't ask him for more, but I don't know. It's just like there's just not a connection between mm-hmm. me and Seth Which, I mean, that's that's happens. That's I, I, I'm like that yeah. with a lot of wrestling. Like, huh? This, uh, he he's sweet as hell. Like, right. he got the he got the boots over. 
right? <laughs> like it was like, of course, of course if it's did. one guy, he has to, he actually should write those off on his taxes. <laughs> like guys, <laughs> the character that I play on TV absolutely had to have these boots the Need first it. day. Need and it. so it was just like, <laughs> ah, all right, yeah, no, you got, he, 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 that, he absolutely has to write those boots off on his taxes. Um, and I, th- I think he's a hell of a worker, uh, and, but it's just like, I don't know. I just like, I get what all the hoopla is about and guy can go and he trains hard and he fucking married to Becky Lynch. And he's, right. so he doesn't need my approval. Like he includes <laughs> in those sleep I think over he's doing my opinion. Right. He's doing just fine. Just fine. Um, <laughs> but yeah, but I, I like that. I can be like, huh, y'all are really enjoying that. Enjoy. Like, yeah. I'm happy you're enjoying it. Yeah, yeah. man. You'll have fun. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. So, Shout out to our fifth member, always Cat Cat Chinetti, who uh had prior engagements. Cat was on here. Cat was on here throwing bombs last time I was in. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I was in the hotel room <laughs> editing this, and I, I was no, I was actually shout out to, yeah. Shout out to Cat. Yeah, man, we were drive, We were on the road, and I was listening to it. And I just kept giggling. This kid, my wife's like, why are you, why are you laughing? I'm like, I'm listening to the Rassle Cast. Oh my gosh, bro. Yeah, it, it was like made that ride fly by, man. It like she's she's she a killer. So man. you guys are by now you've heard the the newest um you know uh, uh version of the theme song yeah. and um you know I, I picked the everybody's quotes specifically for for specific reasons or whatever that I'm not gonna get into which is very dumb. um but like the the list of things that I had to choose from for a cat was like so expansive bro. i'm like you could fill a soundboard with catch and eddie shit you yeah really could, huh? i just might actually <laughs> what i might like do that one day it's just like have a catch and eddie kit like yeah cat cat loves uh just making me crack up whenever i come on we should do this again sometime man she just gets a kick out of me giggling at her so yeah man <laughs> she, she she is definitely one of a kind all right Absolutely. we're putting her over big now Absolutely. Put the rocket strap on her and then get her the get her the belt. Speaking of belts, this has this is a it. terrible segue, but I have okay. do we cares? Yeah. I I got All several right. several things we can toss about. So yeah. first question. <laughs> Mark Rob. Okay. You know the song Round Ball Rock by uh it's by John Tesh, NBA and on NBC. Used it for years. Give me, give me the basketball. Give me, give me. <laughs> you're you're familiar, correct, Mark Rob? I'm familiar. Okay, yes. and also like Fab and 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 Joe Budden and Nelly wrapped over that beat oh, and stuff boy. like that. And we don't oh, boy. I mean, when, I, when I was in uh, when I was had in, way too much fabric on, dog. Oh like, man. <laughs> That's unfortunately that song was on everybody's warm up tape when I was in high school. And it was uh I we'd be in the layup line like uh here we go again. Here we are <laughs> again. Rookie of the year slash MVP. Like mm. that's that's one that's one funny thing about like playing sports is there's not a lot of diversity on those warm up tapes, though. Hilarious. <laughs> Whether you in the suburbs or you in the city, it's just that Them is, tapes be the same, boy. That's why I know like every word of the Space Jam soundtrack. So oh, God. there it is. Hilarious. So Mark Rob AEW has appropriated the round ball rock theme music and has started using it in its promos. Mark Rob, how do you feel about round ball rock being taken away from the NBA, even though they stopped using it years ago, and now being used for all elite wrestling's promos? Do you care? These kids don't have a connection to it. So do I care if like if our demographic old men like it? (laughs) Actually, no, I don't because the shit is for basketball. No, hell no. We don't need the crossover. Get your own shit. Motherfucker. Who, who dropped the ball on that? How is that like never like how is that not always the theme? Like John Williams Olympics, they're never going to change that shit, they shouldn't. bro. Like, so why would the NBA feel the need to? Well, from what yeah. I understood, when... does it have anything to do with All Star Weekend coming up? 
Uh, no, I don't think so. I, I think it's just something I saw a few. I actually saw they acquired it like a month or so ago, and I just okay. saw it in the first promo right before when I was doing topics. I was like, I was like, yo, there's that song. I'm gonna ask Mark Rob about this. Give me, give me the basketball, give me. But from no, so, uh, Jason so Sudeikis the, did a sketch. We did that. <laughs> it's hilarious. So now the so now this young generation is just going to just associate that with AEW. Yeah, which that's that's kind of barfalicious. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Damn. Um, but I mean, hey, I mean, if it's not getting used, I mean, I wish it'd be fuck used. It, but it's still yeah. kind of trash. ABC um, and ESPN changed it years ago. Like they they carried it over when they got the NBA um, from NBC, and then they just changed it, and now it's the current in, incarnation. So what a, what a sad sad day. I don't. Mind I think, it. I f- and I feel like all other songs, like I don't know, how, like what. Well, I mean, I guess it's AEW, so it does have to do with wrestling. But like, it, like every NBA song, every 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 NBA show is trying to mimic that theme mm-hmm. in one way or the other. So it's like, what are we just just use it? It's I'm right there. To, it's a classic. Like, uh, get out of here, daughter. Nobody want that. Like that should don't make me want to watch no basketball. <laughs> Hey, do you remember um on a Sunday that would bum me out? I'm like, nigga, this shit golf. Like you remember <laughs> you remember like back in the day, probably like early two thousands, when they had the they had the commercial where all the NBA players were playing in like a jazz band. Yes. Oh mm-hmm. the, the Tuesday, Wednesday, <laughs> Thursday song. <Yeah. laughs> I have to look it up after this. I remember Man, that though. Niggas, <laughs> totally remember that. <laughs> that was uh so, that was something. All right, so so Mark Rob d- does not care. He says it's a basketball song. He, he doesn't agree with AEW. Handsome Bane, you don't agree with it. Am I am I correct? Or you don't just, care? You don't care about it at all? I mean, I, more than I should, but yeah. not like you know. I'm not gonna throw a hissy fit. I just think you know, like it, it's classic, and it should be where it is. Well, it should be where it started for. It. Like nobody's gonna be mad that that song came on. Like, right. They, they they should not. Nobody that's where I'm at. That song comes on. Yeah, right. that's where I'm at with it. So, yeah. let me. All right. So let's talk a little bit about Toxic Attraction, Handsome Bane. Uh. So <laughs> last week, <laughs> last week, Toxic Attraction. What was left of them after Mandy Rose, J.C. Uh-huh. Jane, and Gigi Dolan? Oh, they boy. broke up and they tried to recreate the 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 Marty Janetti. Through the, the barbershop window, thing, right? yeah, yeah. Handsome Bane, do you care that Toxic Attraction broke up, or and or that they uh, tried to recreate that magic that Janetti and Michaels did so long ago? Uh, brother, um, I, I don't care as much because it didn't it didn't even mirror it or mimic it close enough mm-hmm. for me to be like, oh, that's the parallel they're trying to draw, and um, like, did, did she? Wait, was it on Bailey's show? Yeah, Bailey was on it, NXT. Did she throw her through the door or something? She didn't throw her through the door. She smacked and her into the door. Did she even throw her through the door? She oh, smacked her into garbage. the door. The door didn't even fly that's open. That would have been perfect to nah. throw her through the door. Yeah, the that would have that would have made sense. But, yeah. Um, and you guys know how I feel about the door gimmick. It's great. It's mm-hmm. classic. But, like, um, nah, man, like... <laughs> It was it was it was a miss. If that's what they were really trying to invoke, it was a miss. So it was like, oh, all right, it, because you can't redo that because it was just too, like you you for for one you can't throw a man through a a plate glass window even if it is made out of sugar. Like that image is a little too violent now. Yeah, um, yeah. throwing a man through a plate glass window <laughs> and leaving him lifeless. But, Super um, kicking a man. Yeah, was, no, no, no. He takes too. it like he, cause it, yeah, it was no. He, it was he took him um by the back of the hair and threw him through the, the glass. Yes, and that was wow. like one of those one of those moments where my mom just happened, happened to, to be, be in the room, the room. <laughs> and it was just like, "What the hell is this?" And I was like, "It's yeah, fake." Explain, yeah, it's fake, explaining it. right? That's what it is. It's fake, right? <laughs> yeah, everybody, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, whatever bro I didn't even notice I didn't even peep that's what they were trying to do so I guess I don't care okay Nob do you care at all about this no I don't care well I mean it's just one of those things where they're like 
getting the baby food out and they're like, hey, remember that thing, that mm. legendary thing that happened? You want some? Huh? It's right yeah, here. Right. Yeah, let these guys make their own moments. <laughs> and it's man. like, man, let these let these kids and these and these young wrestlers do their thing, man. Stop. You don't always got to remind them of something that that we remember from the past, you know. And then it's it's is like kind of random too, like a random callback, and like a legendary one. But why, you know? Yeah, especially if you're not going to go all we're the not, way for it, you know. Come yeah. on, now. we're, we're not like, saying that these like, girls don't are even on commit par to with the rockers, are we? <laughs> <laughs> we're not saying they're the rockers, right? They are no. not the rockers. No, they're not. No. No matter how bad we want to squint and see some yeah, female like rockers, if, they're not. They're not that. Like if you don't do something like that, like because the mean, rockers which, were barely the rockers, which, which is right? You know what I mean, <laughs> like the rockers were barely the rockers. Like this thing is come staggering in. Like, all right, we're gonna wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, Marty. <laughs> like, <laughs> they come in there sounding like fucking. Never mind. <laughs> Uh, fuck Jesus. Uh, um, oh Jesus. man. Yeah, no, it was it, whatever, bro. Anyway, I just had when the one... last time when the last time you think Shawn Shawn Michaels and Marty Jannetty had Ooh, words. Dude, <laughs> that's dog. Uh, I think Shawn tried. Yeah, Marty's Jeez. just like he, bro. Marty is I, he is the, he is out of there, bro. I'm I feel like Shawn. Found Marty in a gutter one day. It was like, <laughs> Marty, hey, hey, come on, buddy, get up. Come on. Marty, come on. Get the, get your fucking hands off me, Sean. Yeah, I mean, John. <laughs> you did this to me, Sean. Like, damn, bro. Like, them niggas is having an argument in the middle of the street. No, nobody knows who them niggas really are. Them two old Jeez. niggas about to scrap. <laughs> <laughs> that one drunk old nigga, he mad as hell. No, like, Marty, Marty hates that nigga's guts, bro. Everything that yeah, he just talked to that nigga about, because I think it's like a bunch of his own insecurities and shit too. Like he, he should be on this list, honestly, for people that we're looking at. But um, it's kind of rough. Anyway, that nigga Marty, man, party Marty. <laughs> Party Marty. Shout out to Party Marty. Party man. Marty, man. Um, this one just popped in my head, so get well soon, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to lay it up for Mark Rob again. Desert. I don't think we've talked about her. I mean, it's the first time we've been together since since Russell Kingdom happened. So, Mark mm. Rob, Mercedes Monet, aka mm. Sasha Banks, walked into the New Japan Pro Wrestling at Wrestle Kingdom, and she is challenging for the at uh, the um, New Japan Women's uh, it's a Women's yeah, Championship the I, the IWGP no. Women's Championship yeah, IWGP Women's Championship Oh, for shizzle. Yes, so she came in and then who who's carrying now is Kari carrying? Uh, Kyrie Kyrie, Kyrie saying Kyrie, from yeah. uh, cool. She I, Kyrie on this list. Yes, yeah, she is. She is on the list. Yeah, and y'all hear about the list here shortly. Beast. Uh so walks in attacks Ky- Kyrie and now has a match for the World Championship in her first ever New Japan Pro Wrestling match. When is that match off? It's actually this week coming up. I think it's like this. It's this week. I'm not sure the okay. exact day, but it's this week coming up. So very soon, Damn. by the time you hear this, it'll be happening. Mark Rob, do you care that Sasha Banks, now known as Mercedes Monet, walked into <laughs> an entirely different promotion and immediately gets a championship match? Do you care? Mm, you know I love black people. You know I as love do women. We. As mm. do we. Mm. Mm. So she's a hill. So she coming in, hidden, hidden, hidden. Our uh, Japanese brothers and sisters and challenging for maximum It's not a Black History Month, bro. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I got questions. So she. So she. So she, you know, coming in, you know, trying to colonize their oh, wrestling organization. Is that is that? Am I getting this correct, hey, Kevin? Man, Japan ain't got no clean Perce- hands, Perce- brother. Everyone has their own perception. <laughs> mm. 
Adu Nobu Naga, I'm talking about you, fam. <laughs> you got shit to answer for. Mm. <laughs> it is it is Black History Month, but mm. they call my nigga Yasuke the Black One. <laughs> <laughs> that was his name to them. I, I think for the sake of of black and yellow relations in the world, I'm not gonna say I don't care. But I'm not going to say that I care. I'm going to say, let's not colonize other, you know, entities, but let's support our sisters getting the championships for themselves. So does does Mark Robb care? Mark Robb cares a lot, but he's waiting and seeing. Okay. Nav, do you care? Um, yes, I do. Um, I think that, I think there's a weird amount of, well, we know why, but Mm -hmm. there's a lot of sweaty wrestling fans that are kind of irrationally rooting against, you know, uh, Sasha Banks or, you know, Monet, whatever we're going to call her. But, um, I mean, she's dope, man. She's one of the ghosts. And, you know, a lot of people don't know, but did you know that she sold this... She sold this show out before they. This was the only match that had been announced for about a month straight, and and oh, she's pretty she much sold it out. Yeah, pretty much they sold the show out with just that match announced. All now right. there's Damn. there's Damn. more matches and there's more matches announced now. Like Okada is going to defend his title against Tanahashi for the four hundredth and fiftieth time up since the, mm-hmm. you know. And then um, talk about a hundred years war, bro. Man, and then Eddie Kingston and Jay White, like they've announced some more matches, but mm-hmm. for, for for a long time, Sasha Banks and Kyrie was the the only match that well Mercedes Monet that was the only match that had been announced. So I'm I'm just I just want to see that. See that. I want to go yeah. see that. Yeah, I want to see the fight. I'm rooting for her, man. I'm rooting for her to succeed outside of the E. So uh, I care. Okay. And I love Kyrie Sane too, so the match should be a banger. Yeah, the match is going to be fire. Absolutely. Um, now I, I can I can definitively say, if she loses in Black History Month, we we definitely not caring about that. <laughs> no. We can definitely say that, right? Yes, yes, we would not yeah. care if she loses <laughs> in February. Oh yes. man, I don't know. I feel like she won't. I I kind of feel the same way. Yeah, it depends on how how long she feel like staying over there, man. Because if I don't think she putting, not, if she putting butts she in the that. seats like that, bro, then yeah. yeah. If they well, the weren't show, going the show, to, they is, are the now. show is in America, though. <clears throat> yeah, it's in uh, San Jose, I think. Oh, oh so, that's a so, slam dunk. So New Japan is wrestling in America. Huh. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, they do like mm-hmm. a couple shows over here every every year. Mm-hmm. Something's fishy is going on. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hmm. Dog, don't. <laughs> Not the McCarthyism, bro. <laughs> McCarthyism. I, I don't know we're in a red scare, but we're in a, in a muted burgundy wait. Uh, <laughs> I. I couldn't keep the character. Uh, <laughs> All right. I was going to say, we're not in the red right, scare. Man, we're in the muted. Uh, I do care. See. No, 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 no. Just stop. All right. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, this obviously. Guy. This guy. Um. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I care. I care. Um, I care hopefully well. they go with the hot hand and mm-hmm. just, you know, let um. I, I would really like to see what she's able to do in a different market. And if that um, translates to, you know, a bigger payday. I I do also want her to, I would like for her to be back in the E if she's happy. Because I feel like this women's division is super stacked now. Everybody's healthy. Like, there are a lot of directions they can go. There are a lot of active um, wrestlers right now. A lot of active females. Like, the, probably the bet, like, the, the roster is as, as big as it's been or has ever been. But, like I said, everybody healthy. You got Bailey. Yeah, since like evolution. Uh, Bailey, right? Becky, they're all healthy. Bianca, mm-hmm. like, uh, Charlotte's back. Like, all. Oscar. Oscar looks great. Murder Clown Oscar. Absolutely. Murder Clown Oscar, bro. Like, you got to do something with that. Yeah. And, um, I, I think that they should, um, 
it should be a women's evolution again. And um, Bianca I, Belair, the man. The first one was so good. It was I really thought the, good. One, it was one the, the only one that they did the was so good, and they didn't even promote the shit. Right. Yeah, they needed it was like little weak ass commercials, it, like women's evolution coming up on the WWE, WWE Network. Network. Nine ninety nine. Hey guys, I can sell that for you. No, oh, Todd. Man. No, Todd. Todd. No, Todd. No, 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 no. I'm doing this for tax reasons. It's like, so... damn, bro. Oh, man. Is there any room for a bra and panties match on there? Right. That card. This, we don't, we don't. Come on, not... Vince, dog. See, Come now, on, if this Vince. is March, then we would say not on Women's History Month. Come on, Vince. We're not doing that no Come more. On, Come on, Vince. Vince. Oh, damn. Titus, you, you give me five on the black hand side. <laughs> Van, I said I'm not going to do that no more, Vince. Oh, do it. Do it. God damn it. Do it. Come on. Come on. Huh? And then someone runs. Slide it. Ron Slide it. <laughs> Rock, no, 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 look no, at no. Vince. Look at Titus. Look back at Vince. Look at the camera. <laughs> Damn. It's a, Titus just staring a hole in Vince the whole time. No, 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 no. <laughs> I want you to slide it so hard that I get some black on me. God damn it. I want it to rub off a little bit. Hey, oh, no. Vince had one schnapps. <laughs> <laughs> one schnapps. <laughs> Vince had one little bit of little piece of coke, and now he's going crazy, guys. We got to get him home. Oh, man. man. All right, bro. Y'all want to uh... – wait, do you, you have more do you care? Anything safe? Um. <laughs> well, <laughs> I had – I have this okay, one ju- back, juicy bro. thing. One juicy okay. thing. Okay. All right. One juicy and thing. And we're going to hand, hand this one to – hand this one to Nav first. So I'm going to read the quotes, and then I'll tell you who said the quotes. And then you tell me whether you care about why they said this thing. All right. So now we'll talk about entertainment. I thought Rihanna was freaking horrible. I mean, I was disgusted by it. That's all. Let's just say that. I don't know. It just seemed kind of boring. That's the understatement of the year, man. I thought it was horrible. I'm not a country music fan either, but Chris Stapleton singing that national anthem was on point. That dude was good. Well, he didn't grab his crotch every 15 seconds. He was good. Oh, no. He just, he just had a great, well done, well prepared, great, just great rendition of that song without making it super over the top and hanging out the note and without doing the like, without oh, making it wow. all about them. That's all. Just performing it in a really good way. Period. End of story. Uh, doing their please job stop the with the dog whistle. <laughs> dog, I can't Who be said this again? Anymore, dog. I didn't say yet. Okay. That's the end of the quote. Nav. Do you care that Goldberg did not care for Rihanna's oh, Super Bowl wow. halftime wow. show? Oh, Goldberg. my God. Wow. Um, no, because that's how we all felt about his wrestling matches his Damn. whole career. Oh, shit. <laughs> right. oh, shit. Um, also. Um, Especially after 1998. 1998 was the year I cared. What are. Remember that time what? he put me out of the wrestling business? <laughs> Hey, Brett. Yeah, you, you still hate that nigga, Brett? Oh, forever. He's trash. Did you hear what he just said about <laughs> Rihanna? I mean, we know that. He's, we trash. Did you hear that, what he but... just said about Rihanna? I mean, it's Black History Month. <laughs> of course I heard it, Brett. Yeah. yeah. I was fired up. I was yeah. fired up. I was going to go drilling. Where are you going to let this grudge go, Fuck Brett? that guy. Oh, shit. Really? Trash. I love yeah, that it's... energy. That's... I love that energy. That sounded. I don't know. Nope. It... I, I I just want to hang on. I think go. Goldberg's masculinity—he felt like his masculinity was under attack yeah. watching that performance. Those guys just like the Smurfs. <laughs> they just, like, they just oh. want they just want shit to be Smurf. They just want everything to be cop, 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 cop. You know, so you know they 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 want the they want the village people to come out there and you know, <laughs> they want, but they want all cops. Yeah. Uh, they're weird like that. They want they, they want guys want coming out there. They want guys coming out there wearing uh, baseball jerseys at the Super Bowl <laughs> over their polyester pants. That's what they like. Bill Goldberg. Whoa. God damn, well, brother, you're Jewish. You're the best like, around. Well, 
Well, because it is Black History Month and you are defending a black woman, I will not throw you out. I will see you out to the door, Brett. Oh, so. no, I, I'm going to go away with my black woman. I, get, I, I love oh, you guys. shit. You got a tape? <laughs> <laughs> Brett's, Brett's married to a black black woman. Oh, shit. What up, though? All right. Um, <laughs> I'll make it so, see you, Brett. And that um, is Do You Care? <laughs> Word. Oh, so, um, well, uh, everybody, b- before before we yeah. like, just the f- like, it bothers me that he elaborated so much on on his disdain for the, the performance. Right? Yeah, you know what I mean. And we and we know why. I'm making it all about that. Who's who was who's the guy that was with him? Uh, so, I Hanging know. out the notes. Making it all about them <laughs> and their black skin. Oh, why? Why I, can't they just? Why can't they tone their blackness down? Why can't they just? Know. You know, why, just make it choppy. Well, you know? Let's yes. make the Super Bowl halftime show, show white again. Why can't you do it? Why can't you do it? And then we all go home. Just do it how I would do it. You know. Do it how I. I don't know how to do any of this. It's <laughs> <laughs> too uh, black. Oh damn! Uh, we didn't even get super quick. Royal Rumble. How'd you guys like the ending of it? Uh, I um, absolutely loved it. What yeah. happened? Royal Rumble was fire. Let, let yeah. me set the scene for you, Mark Rob. So oh, wait, let's 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 say first who won shit, and then let's get to the. We'll, we'll uh, go real. We're quick only going to do those. main main event, right? Are we talking about everything? Because we're. I thought so you said quick, the end uh, of the Royal Rumble. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I know. My bad. Um. Uh. So Rhea Ripley won the women's rumble. Great. From number uh, one, which is number from number one, I knew that when she came out number one that she was going to win. That's when I was like, "Oh, she, so she's been picked to carry the football like the whole night. Great, she's yeah. going to win." Um, and then uh, Cody Rhodes won the uh, won the men's rumble. Mm-hmm. And pointed uh, at the sign, pointed at the mania sign. Pointed at the sign, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. All right, well, yeah, you know they mm-hmm. look, oh, man. Yes. We we've known where they thought they were going with this, but but they I don't know, I don't know. Well, I like. I like them making shit murky because now. So what? What, what I what I said was like, we all knew Cody was gonna win, so I feel like that kind of took away from it. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, like, we criticize, we criticize WWE so much for, um, you know, when the thing is right, the layup. <laughs> when the thing is right there, and they yeah. don't take the layup, you know. Mm-hmm. So they took the layup. I'm not Yo. gonna beat him. I'm not gonna beat him up for it. You know what I'm hey, saying? Like, hey, Vince, will, hey, Vince will be right at the rim, and then NBA jam that bitch all the way back down the other side of the court. <laughs> now you can whip that one pass all the way, all the way back down to the court. That's yeah. what Vince be doing. He just whipped that shit out of bounds <laughs> instead of the layup. <laughs> he just fling that bitch out of bounds, man. Oh, man. Uh, Bray Wyatt. Oh boy, uh-huh. yeah, that's on me, guys. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm not. I'm okay with it. I'm okay. That's with what he came back too. for. Yeah. The, you know what I mean? It's fine, whatever. Um, but on to on, on with the scene hyphen. We were okay. saying. So Mark Rob, my man Roman put his Reigns. hands in the air. I had to like. <laughs> Had to like bring me back down to earth. <laughs> I had to let y'all know what's going on for the listening audience at home. Hyphen has uh, lifted his hands in the air and he's doing Casting spirit spells. fingers. Yes. <laughs> Roman Reigns faced off against Kevin Owens in the main event for the for the unified WWE Championship for the Universal Championship and the WWE Championship. Shout out to the Thick Boy. Shout out to the Shout Thick out Boy. Boys of America. This is the second time Kevin Owens has faced Roman f- to try to get his belts because last time was back in like 2021 and they had a banger at the Rumble, I believe. So I know I watched that match. There you go. So Sammy was at Sammy Zayn was ringside with Paul Heyman during this entire match, and Roman had specifically called Sammy out. And he had been saying, you're loyal to Kevin Owens still because they're, they're actually real-life best friends. Like, you're still loyal to him. Like, I gave you everything you need. Uh, uh, your bloodline now. Just just let, follow me and I'll give you the world, Sammy, essentially. So so Roman successfully <laughs> beat Kevin Owens, okay, to, to, win, to continue to be the champion. 
And then Roman decides he's going to make a point. So the bloodline are all beating the crap out of Kevin Owens, except having for Sammy. A blast. They are <laughs> Niggas was having a blast. <laughs> yeah, Solo. Jay, Jay was having so much fun. Jimmy. Paul is back there talking, talking shit, holding the both of the belts, man. Roman, no, they was jumping on that man like a trampoline, bro. They were beating was, him up. It was, uh, it was, it was extensive. It was, it was like, all oh, right, y'all. <laughs> no blood though, no blood, but he got his ass. Nah. So Roman had a chair at one point, and he was getting ready to hit KO, and then Sammy said. Like, right before he's about to swing, Sammy's like, no, no, don't hit him. He's had enough, Roman. Don't you think so? And Roman, like, looks at the crowd, and he's like, hands him the chair. Like, you do it. You do it. You take the chair. So mm. Sammy takes the chair. Roman mm. is walking around a ring and gloating, and the bloodline's there hyping Sammy up. And Sammy's mm. holding the chair, and he's walking up to his, his, his former best friend, about to crack him, and Roman is, like, right in front of him, just off to the side. And Sammy mm. steps out and slaps Roman across the back with the, the chair. Bre- oh, breaking, no. breaking out of the bloodline and defending his friend, and and mm. going making the face turn, and so mm. Jay Jay who has hated Sammy for months, months, who finally accepted Sammy in the, l- the last two months maybe, is distraught, and like and he's like, no, I defended you, and like Jay was making his face, man, it was a beautiful face, like it was, just, it was. Mm. It was top tier, man. Yeah. Like, it was, was Godfather acting. This was done. this like, was like <laughs> you know, this was one of the greatest angles of all time. Yes. I said that to Handsome Bane. I was yeah. like, I can't like believe we're match, watching this as it unfolds. The match was pretty mid. It wasn't nothing special, but the yeah, stuff that trans Yeah, the stuff that has transpired after the match was like all time great level. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. This will be on top ten list for WWE for a long, long time after this. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, the <laughs> I I want to point out that I was right months and months and months ago when when uh, Jimmy and uh, Sammy like first got cool, and he was like kind of the first one to accept him in the whole thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, man, it's gonna suck when Jimmy is the first one to kick him in the face. Or yep. in the back of the knee or something. Yeah. I was like, nah, I know Jimmy's gonna be the first and one J- to hit Jimmy him. Jimmy cracked him. Jimmy, Jimmy is like, yeah, everybody's faces, though, like the, yeah, it was great. Um, so Jay, he was so distraught, and then like everybody starts attacking Sammy, including Roman. Jay leaves and had just walks out on the bloodline, which everybody's like, oh my god, I can't believe he's doing that. So they proceed to beat Sammy's ass for like the next five minutes or so, mm. and and so Jay was on the lam, but Jay just recently came back to SmackDown, defending the championship with Jimmy for the first time, but we ain't seen anything since. I don't know what happened with SmackDown tonight. And tomorrow night is Elimination Chamber, Sammy versus Roman in Montreal, mm. Sammy's hometown, mm. for the championship belts. Mm. So was there a do you care somewhere in there? No, that was just me out telling you what happened oh, at the Royal Rumble. That was for your information, I do. Sir. I care. I care. I oh. wrestle. I do. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh. How are you? I am. Yes. Hi. Hello. I have come to lodge a formal complaint oh. about the end of the Royal Rumble. When did you start oh. rolling your R's? I am. The, well, uh, this is my introduction. I am Liesl. Oh, Bomba shoot. <laughs> I am Liesl Bomba shoot oh. of the Cambridge Bomba shoots. Oh, uh, I'm noble blood, and and yes, I am the protector of professional wrestling and its rules. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, my notes on the Royal Rumble. Okay. All the right. full. The book is full. Trust me. Oh, oh shit! You got a spiral notebook. Oh. Yes. And of, he of, said of the many. book is full. It's full. Oh. Yeah. We have notes on the Royal Rumble, on the Men's Rumble. Yes, everything went according to plan. Uh, you write that in fountain pen? You, know, you got to dip it in ink every time? Uh, yes, right? a quill pen, actually, in my leather oh. bound. Uh, I'm in my study. Uh, oh. But Oh, shit. How old are you? Uh, exactly uh, 45 years, uh, three months, and... <laughs> 15 days. Uh, 16 days now. Uh, Yes. Uh, So I've heard, I've come to lodge a formal complaint to uh, Triple H himself. Uh, It reads as follows. 
uh, I would like to address the events of the past. Uh, this I wrote this a while ago. This was weekends ago. Understandable. Oh, oh shit. this weekend's Royal Rumble allowed me first to lay out for you my credentials as a fan of professional wrestling. I was voted most knowledgeable five years in a row in my grammar school. Uh, oh, all, all knowledge. I am. I've. I've I've mastered all forms of study. <laughs> I'm on I'm on the edge of my seat. Oh shit! For earning uh, a baccalaureate degree from Oxford University at the tender age of around ten and five years. Mm, fucking brainiac. Yes, uh, it, it, my reputation precedes me. Uh, yes, uh, but the Royal Rumble went far beyond a simple violation of the sacred rules of an athletic competition. What mm. the bloodline did to Kevin Owens and later Samuel Zayn should have landed them all beneath a prison after due process mm. and speedy trial, naturally. Exactly. Uh, handcuffs have no place other than the belt of a constable or on the rare occasion the wrist of a ruffian. Mm. Not to mention the state of the ring. Bodies and flowers <laughs> were strewn about the ring with no consideration for the ring crew. Mm. Do they not sure. work hard enough? Kevin Owens, uh, uh, badly injured in his livelihood. Uh, this is a formal request to bring Roman Reigns and his merry band of hooligans to justice. Oh, uh, I agree. I have oh. already launched an investigation into this most heinous act. I have reached out to Jay Uso to attain his help in this case. Uh, he has yet to respond. Uh, I am suggesting he be eligible to receive a plea bargain. Uh, yes. Uh, 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 no one uh, uh, we must, oh, we must no. show these thugs that no one is beyond reproach and no one is above the law uh, Hold on. are you calling them thugs because they're dark skinned or I'm calling them thugs because of what they've done oh okay alright have you um, have you ever had a conversation with Vince McMahon sir the man the man is a brute the oh, man is a filthy brute, a slobbering mongrel of a man, and who just happened to be Walt Disney of one thing. Of being that's, an asshole? Or, well. Yes. Well, apparently that's what it takes. <laughs> Tell me, brother. But there is blood on all of our hands. Not mine. Shit. <laughs> How does one answer that? Well, I guess I'll be shuffling off <laughs> to the next challenge. Uh oh, protect, man. Protect the sanctity of professional wrestling. <laughs> So I thought he was going to say the end was fat phobic because the fat guy lost. So that's why I don't care about that shit. We need thick champions, motherfucker. Big, we'll be right big back. Big champs. No. We, need, <laughs> yes. hey, we, need, we need a WrestleCast t-shirt that says thick champs. Right. And it needs to have a picture of uh, the fucking natural disasters on that boy. Dog, earthquake, <laughs> earthquake, and typhoon. Dog, like how did how how could they ever lose, bro? No, you know this was enormous and fast, bro. bro. You know what's crazy is like fast as shit, bro. Earthquake he looked was. like he was about forty five, and he was like. 21. He was 27 out there, uh, dog. Uh, was looking. he 27? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm sure he was like, real young, man. Dang. He was young. Mad young, he but old, he looked bro. he looked super old. Though. He wow. looked washed. My man was yeah, young. But he had also Mad like I, but remember, he was like a sumo champion at one yeah. point. So like I think that shit just like it took a lot like, out of him. Su- like if you it took well, some years <laughs> that and also like if you can become a, a sumo champion, like they treat you like a king, king. over there, dog. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, a sumo. grand cha- a Yokozuna. Are you kidding me? You just walk yeah, up in yeah. any blood, like, her and her. And it was like, dog, it's gross, but okay, right. you can do it because you're a you're grand champ, dog. I guess so. Earthquake, how would they ever lose a Earthquake, single match? Dog. How would they ever lose a single match, dog? To mm. Money Inc., come on, Give me a right? Break, dog. It shouldn't happen. And scam artist Ted DiBiase himself, bro. <laughs> the scammer. Oh, <laughs> been a reality. Oh no, evil, <laughs> evil nigga. All right, man. So <laughs> that's it. Evil nigga. Um. Oh, uh, elimination chamber. The only thing I'll say is, um, win, loser, draw. 
Um, actually, it'd probably be better in a loss if Sami Zayn made Roman Reigns bleed, and I think that would get him into the Royal. I mean, I think artistically that could get him into WrestleMania, even if he loses. Mm-hmm. And then that way you can, you know, if you're gonna do a triple threat or whatever, which I hate triple threats, this one I would actually probably be invested in if Roman about- Reigns were to bleed in a win. Um, Sami Zayn could be like, I made you bleed, and like, right. you know, saying like, niggas think you're God out here, but you talked about God mode. Like he mentioned God mode, God mode. Like I didn't know gods could bleed, you know. And then it'd be like, mm. oh, all right, nigga, I'm gonna kill you now. Like, but it's like, <laughs> and then he gets in that match. What, what um, about but this? That, it, it 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 breaks us away from the AEW just bleed uh yeah. thing where it's just like they gotta stop bleeding on uh, they gotta stop bleeding bro every match <laughs> every fucking oh, match yes. you look at Mox wrong and he starts bleeding can man. you imagine John Moxley in a first Dog. blood match Dog. <laughs> it'd be done in 10 seconds it'd be like a 15 <laughs> second match he it'd take be that... leaking everywhere he does Mox... man he... here we go the lockup Moxley takes a right hand to the face and oh, <laughs> oh no we'll tie up Crim- oh, crimson mask crimson <laughs> mask <laughs> Hilarious. Nice headlock. <laughs> nice headlock takeover. Oh my god. He's pleasing everywhere. Wild. Like a stuffed pig. <laughs> so I'm so I guess... concerned. <laughs> Renee is at ringside. She doesn't know what to do. She's bawling her eyes out. <laughs> He's Why still wrestling. Marry this nigger. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Oh, Come on man. now. We all know that she's saying it. Oh my goodness. She's so tired. Um, she gotta be so tired of that nigga talk. Bro, bro stop. Stop bleeding. You stop with the cutting. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> your face. <laughs> your, fucking... your forehead looks like a new like, You look like Abdullah the goddamn butcher. <laughs> what about Stupid. your daughter, John? You think she I wants to see you bleed every time we turn on the TV? <laughs> Then I gotta oh, take you in front man. of my parents looking like this? Come on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jesus. So, so what 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 would you think if they like took what if, what if Roman defended both titles separately at WrestleMania? That's what I wanna happen. Fine. Yeah, man. Shit. Make them do some Make them work wrestle on Saturday here. and Sunday. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> what what if some fucking work? That ain't Roman Reigns. Do not be defending <laughs> 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 it. Like, no. Uh, who is it? Uh, Dave in the um, he got him right in in uh in in the uh, fantasy group. Yeah. Oh yeah. They got two belts and, he, and they earning nothing. And, off he ain't one. Enjoy, and Dave has not won a single match got all season. On his team. He got the he got a dude that's been champ for like two years. Nine hundred so days. And he ain't getting no points from him. It's crazy. <laughs> It's, it's crazy. Hey, it's not doing that, dog. Hey, is the king of R and R, dog. Hey, nah, yeah. doing nothing for it. I need to appeal to the group to get some blood points for Mox every time he gets busted open. Oh my god, dog! <laughs> like, give me R&R that five R&R points. For five rest points for blood. relaxation. Rest and reigns, bro. <laughs> rest. <in>. Roman rest. <laughs> 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 Oh, resting, man. bro. All right. Um. So let's get to this elimination chamber that we have, dog. We Woo. have uh, constructed our list. We decided we're going negative, right? Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna show love early and then uh, keep it rolling. To I'm the gonna end. follow um, y'all's lead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I sent you guys the list to the Jake the Snake Invitational Tournament of guys who didn't quite meet their potential for one reason or another. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Look, the early ones, like, we put a lot of names on here of guys who were, like, really dope and just, you know, wrong place, wrong time, or, you know, Vince didn't know what the hell he wanted to do because, Aww. you know. Or, you know, you black. Know or... or black. Mm-hmm. Um, so, <laughs> there's a couple. Uh, Nav and I constructed the list, uh, but we just want to make some um, honorable mentions of people who, you know, would not win this award. Uh, whatever. Um Owen Hart, obviously another guy who didn't like need to win the title to uh, get himself over. It would have been nice. Um, Dean Malenko. Dean. Uh, well, let me, let me ask this because yeah. 
Is the heavyweight championship the ultimate goal of every single wrestler, though? No, because there's a lot of guys who've been heavyweight champion and just were not over. Like, yeah, there's a lot of people who got titles that nobody gave a shit about. Or like you put it on like Ronda Rousey right now, not to bully her, but like they put the belt on a former MMA champion and nobody like even remember where the belt was. Like you know, I, I'm nobody. I'll I'll, I'll speak to that. I, I was nobody. I was like, dog. I was like, wait, where is who? Where is this? I, not even who has a SmackDown championship. Where is the where Smackdown is it? Championship? That's where I was with. Where that. is it? so where so by it? the end by the end of our elimination chamber, whoever is the last man standing, oh. they would have the most potential. With the least amount of accomplishments. Yeah, ideally, yes. They're big trash because they, you know, well, it, it's a perfect storm. Some guys, you know, were bad people. Some guys weren't like, you know, they only had one trick. The reason I'm calling this to Jake the Snake is because Jake only had promos. Like, he wasn't like, he wasn't phenomenal in the ring. He wasn't, he was like just serviceable. Like, it was like arm drags, arm uh, uh, full arm drag and twist. An arm bar, sleeper hold, uh, sleeper hold, and uh, you know, maybe a spine bust. No, DDT. All right, and and snake. You know, what I'm saying he had hacked the shit and figured <laughs> out, snake. and snake, <laughs> and go home. You know, what I'm saying he Drink figured that shit out. Go get drunk. Like, yep. <laughs> yep. Go get drunk. Yep. Like, yes, this shit is. This job is in the way of me like getting over on niggas, bro. Like, <laughs> let me go out here and do my thing. Have niggas calling my name or whatever, but um, so yeah, Jake is like right there. Dog. He's like right there on that line of just like he was super over, but like, bro, he didn't do shit, dog. And like, he wasn't like a great like you know body guy, which I think is amazing. Like he had like a weird kind of um, uncle body, uncle body. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, Who <laughs> it's a Detroit Piston that I want to. Uh, god, Rick Mahorn. Rick Lamb. No. Lamb beer? Nah, nah, nah. He was Kevin like... Kevin Chapuka. <laughs> yeah, why did I'm I gonna just think of Kevin Chapuka, too? <laughs> I'm going to remember it later. I'm going to be mad as hell. Business. Because it was... The nigga has such a dad body. Vinny Johnson. Dog, like, nah. Uh, no, we, we can stop guessing. Because yes. uh, it's, it's none of them. Let me go get the roster real quick of the 88 ah. Pistons. <laughs> he, was, he was in there around, the Chuck, around Chucky Atkins' time, and I think he tried to be a, he, he tried to coach there at one point, and everybody was like, no, nah, you trash. Terry Mills. Uh, Terry Michael Mills. Curry. Michael Curry. Michael Curry. 100% the Michael Curry body. <laughs> Take the snake. <laughs> was the wrestling equivalent to Michael Curry body wise. <laughs> Michael Curry body. Hey, all right. I'm sorry, but I got to oh tell a funny Michael Curry story. Oh, he's got oh, no. oh, my God. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Let's do it. All right. So, when I was a young and playing AAU basketball, my team was playing against. A team that had Isaiah Thomas's son and Michael Curry's son. After the game, everybody in the gym was forming Isaiah Thomas to get him to take pictures and sign sign their basketballs and stuff. Yeah. Michael Curry was literally standing right next to him, had a marker in his hand, and he's just kind of like, "Hey guys, I'm a uh, Michael Curry." <laughs> And just like every, like people were like just sprinting past him and just like only going to Isaiah Thomas. And I get, even since the beginning of time, like I get the worst secondhand embarrassment. And I was just like, <laughs> we got to get out of here. Like, I can't. This is, this is, a, this is, we got to get the fuck out of here. Bro. We got to get out of here. Dog. It was melting me, man. Like, I was just like, this is horrible. <laughs> I'm about to throw up. He's, he's got more pitchers coaching AI than he does as a player. <laughs> exactly. And it's yeah. like, bro, oh. he just – he just and he, like, stood there for so long. Like, he didn't, like, remove himself <laughs> from the – like, you know, like this. Bro, bro, you know what this is, dog. Like, Come on, man. <laughs> oh, dog. I was, I, I was coaching at uh, Rodney Hurd's basketball camp, man. <laughs> Eric Snow came out there to talk about – Eric Snow. Like, talking to the kids. Uh, all the kids wanted to know was Allen Iverson in his life, man. 
Nobody want to talk about school. Y'all just want y'all just got questions about Al. I was like, <laughs> yes, of course, the dog. He's Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson, man, kids, man. All like, right, Allen Iverson, kids, nigga. Great letter, nigga. Um, all right, so yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, uh, the Jake the Snake Invitational. Um, does everybody have access, or everybody can? Is everybody seeing the um, the list here? I can see it. All right, but Mark Rob, you good now? Yes. Mark Rob's got it. Cool, cool. Right. I cannot see it. Hold on, I gotta pull it up. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right. Sorry, guys. Bring it up right now. Superstar egos. Let's go. Star right. novel. Bro, oh, I did you send that picture of Michael Curry? <laughs> 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 Dude, Michael Curry, no, imagine that cat with his shirt off. You bro. think I ain't gonna make that the cover? Think I ain't gonna make that the uh, cover this episode? No. Imagine, imagine, imagine that guy getting to see Alice Ray. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Y'all about to rock your world. <laughs> he like he say rock your world. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll just read off the names that we have on the list. It's a pretty extensive list, but we can get through it pretty quickly. Um the oh, rules of this game, on. although uh are uh everybody's on the list. We can pick anybody you want at any time for any reason. If you just want to throw a fucking wrench in, in the works. That's fine, dog. We're all friends here, and we need somebody needs to play the heel at some point. Um, so we got right now we got Disco Inferno, Scotty Riggs, Buff Bagwell, Two Cold Scorpio, Tara or Victoria, Serena D, Alex Wright, Paul Roma, <laughs> Ivory, William Regal, uh, Lance Storm, Rick Martell, Chris Canyon, Perry Saturn, Shelton Benjamin, Hugh Morris, Dolph Ziggler. Jerry Lynn, Haku, Mang, Jerry Teddy Lynn. Hart, Mia Yim, Doug Furness, Raven, Ahmed Johnson, Woo Buddy, Terry Taylor, Shane Douglas, Bam Bam, Bam Bigelow, Bam. King Kong Bundy, Wade Barrett, Dynamite Kid, oh. Kyrie Sane, Alicia Fox, Naomi, Mr. Kennedy, Rocky Johnson, <laughs> Lex Luger, Lacey Evans, Alex Riley, R Truth. Coco Beware, Stevie Richards, Aaron Stevens, and CM Punk. That's right. I threw what? him in there. I tossed CM Punk in there <laughs> because even for all of his success, he could do so much more. And I still, you know, I hope that there's, you know, some some room for it to happen. But right now, dog. No, I'm saying right now, <laughs> right now, I'm kind of tired of trying to believe in CM Punk. I, uh, I stopped trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's fucking. He pissed all in your Cheerios, brother. And for that reason, I, I that's another reason I'm kind of like I'm, I'm pissed off at CM Punk for fucking with your fandom, bro. Oh, well, thank you, man. <laughs> I was like, dog, this nigga's, nigga's mad loyal to you, dog. Like, you can't figure it out. Like, that's facts. Seven years. <laughs> Wait, it's seven years. Seven Did years. pods about. I think he's gonna come back, y'all. So right, like I felt for you. Thirty bro. minute segment. I, I, I don't know, man. I still think they could get it together, man. But whatever, brother. Yeah. Mm. This is the, the... All right, guys. We're doing the Jacob the Snake up. Uh, who? All right, what are we gonna do for order? Um, let me see. I got it on my screen. I'll that... go first for sure. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, all right. Uh, it's gonna be. Uh... Uh, show him mad love, then novelist, me, then hyphen, and then you guys want to serpentine it? Let's serpentine it. Let's serpentine it. Yeah, like it's a draft. So yeah, so then uh, hyphen, hyphen, then back. Yeah. So bet Mark Rob, when you said it like that, it made me think like the beginning of a wrestling match, and like you're getting ready to lock up, and like the other one guy's expecting to lock up, and then you just like sucker punch him in the face. That's kind of what I thought you just did there. I was like. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right. So uh, you got the first pick in the elimination chamber. We can't say shit. You pick whoever you want to eliminate. So this wrestler, first of all, we know who is the head of the thick boy agenda of America in Texas. We know it's Sean Malove, a.k.a. Uh, Big Thick Dudley, a.k.a. Yam Yam Bigelow, and 
you I kind of tipped the hand a bit just now. But the number nine wrestler on my top 20 list of all time, we not keeping this thick brother on the list. Get Bam Bam Bigelow out of there, man. He he is an inspiration oh. to thick boys across America. So we, we're saving him first. Get that man off that list. Get that negativity out of your heart. <laughs> Love, trust, and believe. <laughs> all right, all right. He's so, selling everybody's gimmick. Infringing on everybody's gimmick, bro. <laughs> So, 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 just to be clear, we are eliminating people based on what exactly? Whatever it can be, whatever. You okay, can, you can literally re- whatever eliminate you anybody for whatever for any reason. Um, we're the goal that we're trying to attain here is that we pick the the at the end, it's the person with the most potential and like the most trash return. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, like if like listen, Disco Inferno ain't going nowhere no time soon. <laughs> he should Well let's not let's not step on it. Let's yeah, not step on it. But I'm just saying for an example. Por ejemplo. Yeah, like uh yeah, all right. So then that's uh Nav. Um I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to eliminate so this is tough. I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, Chris Canyon out of here. Yeah. I think, I think that Chris Canyon, even though he didn't get, you know what, what he really deserved, and he kind of ended up coming out as like one of the first gay wrestlers, and that kind of damaged his, you know, his his ability to do anything in WWE. Mm-hmm. But just like. I think a lot of really big wrestling fans got a ton of respect for him. Just his off his offense, like he was really big time, and he was known as an innovator. You know what I'm saying? He's really innovative. Yeah. The moves he was doing, like, uh, it, and, and like, you know, looking back on it, like, come on, man, Mortis was sweet. Like that was <laughs> Mortis dope, was sweet. That was a dope look, man, and a, and a sweet gimmick. So uh, even though you know they kind of bailed on it after a while, but. Mm-hmm. Mortis was cool, and then he had some stuff with DDP. So I think he he didn't reach what I think he could have been in the business, but I think the way that we look at him, like he gets his respect as like a legend. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to eliminate Chris Kane. All right. Um, so on me, ooh, um, well, off this list immediately, uh, I'm taking Haku the God, like, Legit hey. Hall of Famer. Beat the brakes off you. Choked everybody out. You know what I'm saying? Like cops. Everybody. Like nobody <laughs> wants it with this guy. Cops. Um, <laughs> legit, like the toughest guy that anybody from the <laughs> olden days will ever everybody bows down uh to, to Mang. So yeah. Well, yeah, that that yeah, he's he he deserved a lot more. And but I, I don't think he cared about that. He was just trying to feed his family. Mm-hmm. Um so all the more reason why he should be at, uh, off this list. For well, hyphen, your first and second picks. I need to get Naomi off this list, Ace Sabington. Mm. I, I need I need to save her because she has had great runs as as women's champion, in my opinion. They well, they could have been greater runs, but I really mm-hmm. Na- Naomi is. Whatever they asked her to do up until this past year when she finally had enough, she did it, man. Um, so, Naomi, you, you were free to go, ma'am. Um, also, also, <laughs> let anyway, me... I don't want to... I don't... I, I want to back you on your um, on your Naomi pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, um, you know, one thing that a lot of people tend to forget because wrestling moves so fast with what's going on is, like, yeah, Sasha being, you know, pissed off at that point in time. Naomi, they had both just done everything they were asked. To. I mean, well, Sasha will, will uh, you know, hold these niggas over a barrel for whatever. Mm-hmm. And much love and respect for that. Um, but Naomi had been like such a good soldier, bro. And it was like, why is she yeah. not in the bloodline story? I mean, why? Like, why is she like, <laughs> what are we waiting on to pull the trigger on that? Seriously, no. she she every gang should have a girl anyway. To Jimmy, married to him. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, Naomi definitely deserved better. Mm-hmm. Um, glad yeah, she's off the list. And and your uh, second pick. Let me go ahead 
and also save my man Dolph Ziggler. Get Dolph out of there, man, because I I, I, got I have an irrational love of Dolph Ziggler. I, I know he he's, he was good, man. He is. He is. He's, he's, show, yeah. he's showing light. He's showing light. But I there's just something about that dude, man. That I, I just said, always enjoyed his act, man. He uh, circa 20, 2010, 20, 2009 or so is no. when I dark hair Dolph. No thanks. Run around with Vicky. No, no, no. But like when he got with he Ian, just um, kind of gluten free Shawn Michaels to me all the time, dog. Yeah, I did. I that's I one did guy I like, just could I could never get I couldn't get behind off. But now. who's my number two wrestler? Shawn Michaels. So that that probably has something to do with oh, it. Like, yeah, right. That's facts. We used to, <laughs> we used to say that about uh who is it? <laughs> Uh, H, or no? We said about like horse trying to sound like uh Biggie. Oh yeah! Oh, <laughs> like, <man>. Wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. I mean you know, you sometimes you want a Biggie, but you can settle for a horse. You know, so <laughs> you can settle for a horse, the booty feeler. Um, let's see. <sighs> no, uh, you're free, all right, so Dolph. Dolph's out. You're free. Um. Oh, come on. I'm going too cold, Scorpio, dog. The man was a, a black 747, dog. Like, the man was so big, mm-hmm. so heavy, oh, yeah. Athletic, and just dog. go airborne, dog. Like, it was like, Crazy. just a, he was just like the correct, like, you know how, like, all mm-hmm. white people look at black people, and, well, not all white people, but you know how, like, white people look at, <laughs> all racist white people look at black people and see, like, super athletes? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah like, yeah. Too and cold like you... Scorpio. If they assume that about too cold Scorpio, they'd be right. Like you know, what I'm saying like if he, was, if he just had like on a pair of King Griffies and some jeans, dog. Like they'd be like, I bet that nigger can can dunk up. You know, like I bet that nigger's a super athlete. Like, like I bet you, I bet you he's good at every right, sport dog. too. I bet you he's good at every sport. He was good too. as. I bet every sport, nothing, don't matter dog, what. No mattress was safe, dog. This nigga just <laughs> flip over, every, flip on all the mattresses, dog. <laughs> and it was sweet as hell. Big dude, too. Like, yeah, just like a flying tank, bro. Yeah, Super he was, sweet. he was, uh, he was something else. I made him and play a, a pimp. And what a sweet name. Uh, I made him, I made him play a, a pimp. If he was on uh, Sesame Street, you're not uh, welcome course. here. Of yeah. course you did, Vince. Get of out of here, did. dog. His what? music at WCW. Would you, would you mind carrying a right. old forty-five when you two girls? Go to the <laughs> How many pimps, dog? Uh, <laughs> How many pimp angles? What's angle, wrong bro? with what, what is wrong Vince? With dog, we're more than pimps. What is wrong with this dude, man? We're more than pimps. We're more <laughs> than pimps, bro. That's a t-shirt. Why are you during like that, this? During Black History Month, we're more than pimps. You're pimps. You 